One, two. Uh, do it. Ah, beautiful. Uh, there we go. There we go. Ah, oh, good. This unblocked as well. Wasn't sure if it would or not. I just kind of did it and hoped for the best. Or maybe it was obvious that it would have. But really, I didn't put too much thought into it. It was just like, look, if I elongate it, it might help. Yeah, you can get a mix. Nice. Though obviously you need a system to actually handle that. What I presently have will not. One, two. I'm just remembering something I did not want to remember. Am 
Remember I was saying that, uh, you know, whatever had went down, a yeah, person was running their mouth about me. They had a little hate fic of me in their head and was talking shit about me based on it. So I'm a... I'm not quite happy with them over that. I'd, I've been trying to live and let live. But... Such a That would be hard to do. Oh, shite, um... So yeah, I've been trying to live and let live, but uh, I've been thinking about the conversation every once in a while, and it's it is not um, instilled me with with much uh, benevolence and patience. Obviously, I did try and talk to them about it, but... Dang, they didn't seem to be interested. I suppose initially I took a... Um, more of a, an apologetic tone and whatnot. And... Only after that did I did my heckles go up. The apologetic tone is kind of instinct. It's only uh, sometime thereafter do I be like. You know, sometime thereafter does that change. I suppose, since I'm being vague, it's making it sound quite dire. Basically, something was fine, then it wasn't fine. But other people have been doing it, yet I was the only one given as an example. They didn't name me, 
but it was impl- you know it was obvious to anyone knowing in the know who they were talking about. And it's like you're not entitled to it, and it's just like I never acted like I was. You know, they just started fighting a scarecrow of me in their head. And, with, you know, basing their judgments off that scarecrow. I'm more than a little upset about it. I may try and talk to him again about it. You know, you know, fine, if I did some wrong, that's fine. But actually target what, actually say what I, you know, actually act on what I did wrong and not you know a fantasy iteration of it uh, how does the song go? I know, basically an iteration in their head I've had enough of that throughout the years, I don't need it again Probably the same bit of coal from earlier when the. Uh, I think the bouts crossed for a moment. But I thought I cleaned that all up. Like it wouldn't have gotten onto this. But yeah, I've been left in a sore, a sour mood after all that. I'm sure you could imagine. I've just been trying to forget about it for the last few days, but it's not easy. Again, if I did something wrong, if I made a mistake, fair enough. But I wasn't the only one doing it, and yet I was the only one getting subtweeted. And it just seemed they were being over dramatic about it. There was extra details, I can't go into it, but they were being over dramatic about it. It ends up feeling like it was more of a, rather than correcting me, is about somewhat petty grudge. Not that we've. You know, they should be on there. So it's just annoying. Given how much there's that's here, these are never going to be in want for that again. So I have no problem in uh, siphoning a bit off. 
Uh, let's redo this. Copper came up. That's fun. On uh, better news, uh, well, not better news, but uh, less meh news for me, personally. There was an anime after being, well, a, a manga got picked up for serialization. Uh, I cut that off. Um... But it got cancelled pretty much straight away. The reasoning being is that it um, had jibes toward it was, uh, you know, a uh, reborn in a magical world setting. Izaki Iskai have never heard. I've only ever heard one particular friend of mine ever say it, and no one else. I have no idea. I have no idea how you meant to say it. Uh, but yeah, um, it was what it's in that genre, you know, a truck con and all that, you know, Japanese never ending story. Uh, well, one came out and it was basically, um, I know, a revenge tale, but all, all the antagonist characters looked like characters from other series. They were different, they weren't identical, but there was clear overlap. Um, and it got cancelled straight away. Some, I've seen at least one person hopeful that uh, they, it might get uncancelled. But... Mm, who fucking knows? And sad day for anyone who's looking forward to it, but uh, I know better than my own depressing wines. Just again, like if I did something wrong, that's fine, but it just. how it was handled was poor. It just annoys me.
Oh, wait. I thought this was the uh, other place. Whoops. I thought it was down here. I thought it was dealing with the stone rather than the copper. Oh yeah, I was just saying I got these two confused. Come on, damn it. Put out more green. Actually, I have made a mistake here. I need to take out this. I do quite like the trees. Right, just the areas look lovely. Oh, these actually do consume pollution. It's 
so lost is... Apparently we are a Captain Planet villain. Not that I've ever seen... That I've ever watched that as a kid. They are, they do try and rip through forests. They're smart enough about it, I can only rip through the one I needed to. So anyway, uh, let's go back to killing them despite their power of heart. Uh, the basic shotgun in this is pretty shit. It doesn't fire fast enough to, or do enough damage to justify itself. Oh, biter. And, geez, this is a spitter swap. Spawner, but it only... makes small biters at the moment. Bug hunt, man! Okay. I'll head back, get the resources that I need. And I'll start mining over here now. Uh, do need to go grab some more stone. That's not a great idea, is it? Hmm. Okay, before I go anywhere, I'm gonna get some more iron. some more iron and soon we'll have the steel furnace but I'm not actually ready for it
Okay, I have no idea how you're meant to get fish. There's like no gadget. It must be just, I don't know, you using the claws to fish for you or something. Double the speed, double the pollution. Um, is a lot better. It costs a lot more, though. I wish we could select a number amount rather than doing it just rapidly clicking or selecting all. Like make 20, make 10, whatever. Sorry, my mind keeps wandering, and I can't tell am I saying what I'm thinking, or what. I'm just really off my game today. So, yeah. for today. Hmm? A bit of copper got in there. Mm -hmm. Happens, say, if I took out a building and there's copper on the ground, it would get in. At least it makes more sense than the random bit of coal.
Ah, again. One, two. I'm just zoning out. Ah. Uh, maybe I should go play some, something else. Hmm, this makes it quick. You like it? Actually, I haven't set this up at all. Uh, actually, no, you know what? That's fine. I need to change this. Still need to go add on uh, more coal to it though. Hmm, there's something up there. I made this point before to talk about something to keep me focused. Uh, I made this point before my Destiny vids, which should be up by the time this is released. Or, like, started. It was early on in, in it. A lot of people were talking about full writers trying to write Superman and failing. Like, they were making some remarks that Superman is an alien who doesn't relate to humanity. His touchstone with it is Lois Lane. I don't know much about soups. I was never into the comics. The local agents didn't have it, and I just didn't really think, put too much thought about it. I just didn't think of it. You know? I would occasionally want it, then I'd forget that they were a thing, and just move on. You know, I lived in a haze. But from what I've gathered of what people talk, how people talk about soups and whatnot, yeah, he's got superpowers. But him being an alien? is ultimate, in a way, in a sense, just a justification for his powers. If you take his powers away, who is he as a person? He's a good old country boy, heart of gold, wants to do the right thing. If you take away his powers, take, well, if you take away the alien's uh, status of him, who is he, what is he? And that's what he is. He, uh, from what I've been seeing and hearing, he's g good old country boy who, you know, it's good guy, boy scout, wants to help people, you know, do the right thing, all that lovely stuff, from what I've seen. People get too focused on, right, you know, the alien side of it, so much so that it ends up sounding like they're talking about fucking Dr. Manhattan. Oh, man, I haven't seen much of that character either, just the bits I've seen from the movie. But that it sounds much more in line with uh, Dr. Blue Balls than Soups, you know? And I know Manhattan was human, but was is the operative term. Soups, despite being an alien, is much more human than Manhattan is. Due to what he went through, he's disassociated from humanity and the like. So it annoys me that someone who hasn't really seen much Superman, hasn't seen much of them, seems to have a better image of them than the people paid to fucking write them. It kind of says a lot about where the industry's at.
I know in a lot of industries there's a lot of issue of nepotism and corruption. You know, like you get in a job because you know the right person rather than that you have the skills to pay the bills. I wouldn't be surprised if this, that wasn't an issue in the writing, the you know, comic writing industry. It is in other things. Why wouldn't it be there? Or, you know, maybe I'm just being too cynical. Somehow I think the answer to me being too cynical there is no, I'm not. I may have actually taken, you know, I remember listening to a bit of a talk about the Superman character and whatnot. Who knows, maybe I end up subconsciously remembering that and I'm just, you know, referencing it. Or maybe I did, come, you know, just put that together from what I've been seeing. Rather than just, you know, like the phrasing originates with me rather than someone else. But, um... Yeah, it just seems like they really don't know the character that they're meant to be writing for. Like I said, Soups is a good old country boy. He's... Like him being an alien is, in, well, there's more to it, obviously. It, there's some of the drama to it. But from what I've seen of his character, who he is as a person, him being an alien is to justify his powers, you know, maybe to give a little bit of an outsider cred to him, but it's mainly just a power to him. And, you know, a bit of a drama thing. It's not, there's no... Him disassociated, being, you know, disconnected from humanity around. Because he, he was raised among humans, by humans, with, you know, human standards and whatnot. And Kryptonians aren't that different. You know, they don't, you know, hire stats, but they're ultimately people. They're ultimately humans. They aren't, it's not like he's this fucking Zerg or something. Actually, it seems that these don't need power. Yeah, gun turrets don't need power. That's shockingly handy. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, from what I've seen, that seems to be a fine way of looking at soups. If you have an opinion, if you have a take, let me know. It would be nice seeing, different, he seeing and hearing different perspectives on it. Because I don't know everything. I wholeheartedly, happily admit to not being, you know, you know, all knowing. Yeah, it accuse me of many things, but that ain't it. That ain't one.
Actually, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna go play some Dark Souls. Uh, planet... Dralson? Planet Dralson. So, till then, till then.